Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Well, I have my state 4130 all road out and I want to go ride it and get these new uh, brake pads and rotors bedded in. And hopefully as I ride this, the brakes improve. Um, this is the true test on whether my brakes are actually going to ever get good enough to where if they don't at this point, I'm just gonna dump the whole system and put new <laughs> brakes on. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but this is gonna be kind of a twofer video because that isn't really gonna take much. <laughs> and I'm going ultra casual. I have vans on, I put platform pedals on the bike. <laughs> um, and you see this backpack, this is actually a low pro camera backpack and it's designed to carry a nice uh, full frame camera in it, mirrorless full frame camera, which is my Sony a7 IV. Um, so I'm going to take this out for a spin and try to get some cool photos of some things that I've been wanting to take pictures of. And there should be plenty of light for me to uh, get some good photos. Hopefully, you just never know with photography. So yeah, I'm going to go ride, get some photos. And I'll give an update on the brakes because this ride should be long enough to get those brakes bedded in and working to their optimum. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at Minnehaha Falls and the falls go right down there. I'm going to take some pictures of the falls, but let's think about the brakes for a minute. Um, so, see if we can look at them. I did some bed in procedures right when I left uh, did a bunch of them actually to try to get these to bed in and they're still not working that great <laughs> kind of sucks because <laughs> I don't know uh, but I'm looking at the rotors and they don't look fully fully worn in yet so maybe they need more time um, but so far like I grabbed the brakes and it barely slowed down like there's not much modulation i gotta grab them really hard to get any kind of like slowing down but i can't grab them and and come to a quick stop which is kind of scary <laughs> um so thankfully i'm just on bike paths and not anywhere where i have to do any hard braking but like if i was riding in traffic or something these would not be good enough at, at this point so well we'll see <laughs> if they do not start working better i'm gonna believe the culprit is gonna be the levers um these are the state branded levers um uh, there's another company that makes these for a state sensor or something like that my only guess is that their pull ratio is off or something like that and the pull ratio um, uh, for uh, road levers it should be short pull and short pull should work with the brakes but I'm starting to think the levers are just not they're, they're, the ratio's off or something I don't know like it's so baffling because I have all like top quality parts now TRP calipers TRP rotors Jaguar organic pads compressionless housing everything you need to make good brakes and they still are not working right so the levers are likely the culprit but i'm gonna give them a little more time <laughs> to see if they work anyway i want to go take some pictures of the falls so i took some pictures of the falls from up here just pretty cool and then I went down along there, actually back further, you can't really see it, it's through the trees, there's a little platform, and got some lower pictures, so here they are. I've ridden by this spot many times, because it's right along Minnehaha Parkway, and I've always thought it would be cool to get a good picture here of this. So this is, 
you know, video on my phone. I'm gonna leave my bike in the photo there because that'll just add to the cool factor. And we'll see what I can get with my good camera. So here's another spot I always see. I ride by here all the time. And so I wanted to get some pictures of downtown Minneapolis. But I thought about it while I was doing that. Why not try to get some kind of with the city in the background and my bike in there. I don't know how those will turn out, <laughs> but we'll give it a shot. All right, so that was it. Um, the brakes, now that we're done with all the photography stuff, right? <laughs> they started to mildly get better, but very subtle. So um, one of the things I do know is that riding road, you're not as intense on the brakes as you are mountain biking. Because mountain biking, you're having to brake all the time for corners and things. So we're riding on the road. You don't really do that much braking until you need to like come to a stop. A stoplight or something like that, right? Um, so we'll see. I'm going to give it a little more time. But I thought they would, you know, this would be a long enough ride. It was about, you know, a little over 14 miles to get them broke, broke in. And I did do the bed in little sprints and stops a bit before I left and as and on my way there's like a big hill and I was doing them on that and stuff like that so we'll see I hope they do actually start working better <laughs> but <laughs> right now I'm not super optimistic about it um hope you liked the photos I appreciate your support from my channel please like and subscribe peace